Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's session, I'm going to uh, talk about one of the features available on Azure Security Center in regards to the vulnerability scanning, or we call VA. So being said that, let, let me go ahead and talk about what is VA, vulnerability scan uh, or assessment. So in a simple term, vulnerability scan is a software tool which is going to scan your network, uh, your computers and applications and then try to find out what are the uh, weakness uh, on that environment comparing uh, to the database of information that particular tool has. So this weakness can be either misconfigurations or maybe flawed in the programming within that uh, environment. Now being said that, what Microsoft try to do is Microsoft have a tool, we, as we all know, Azure Security Center. So Azure Security Center, let's call it as the, uh, the main brain on, on your te Azure tenant, where it will scan all your virtual machines, and then the PaaS environment and data, uh, databases, and try to identify what are the threats, security threats. But it has a certain scope in that one, a limited scope it will go, not go beyond. So when it comes to these third party applications and then try to find out the deep level of assess vulnerability assessment, this is what Microsoft tried to do is partner with a third party company called Qualys. So Qualys is one of the world renowned company when it comes to vulnerability assessment. Now the cool thing on, on this integration is now by uh, integrating with Qualys and Azure Security Center now uh, for customers they can actually have complete vulnerability scanning tool which goes not only for the Azure virtual machines but for the containers environment as well. So being said that uh, as usual the complexity has been taken away. You don't have to go ahead and configure Collis uh, environment separately where it used to be like that for uh, let's say one year back but after this particular partnership strengthened now everything is seamless. We will be only going to the portal on Azure Security Center portal and then we select the option to configure and that's it. Everything back in has been integrated. Plus you don't have to pay for any other additional license either because if you already have Azure Security Center standard license for the virtual machine, then you are good to go. So being said that the architecture wise, how it works, very simple. Once you activated the Collis, uh, Collis agent will be installed onto the virtual machine and then the virtual machine will be executing the command within that agent and then sending those data to the Collis cloud. That's very important to understand. This will be pushed to the Collis cloud in the nearest region where your Azure subscription is located. And after that, Collis cloud will be assessing the information given across the database and then pass that result to Azure Security Center. So Azure Security Center will be showing all those information on the central con control plane. So I hope you get the picture. It's not very complicated. It has been simplified as much as possible. Now, what next available is, I'm going to demo how to enable Collis on the Azure Security Center. Once we enable, we'll go ahead and select uh, installing the agent for a couple of virtual machines. And then once it's completed, it will try to do the scan. Once the scan completed, let's have a look at it. What are the results and how to do that one. Okay, now we are in the Azure Security Center overview page in this particular subscription. So you can see there are certain uh, vulnerable uh, security issues are highlighted by Azure Security Center. So if I go to Compute and Apps, it will show me a couple of uh, concern areas. So the one we are going to focus in, one called Enable the Built-in Vulnerability Assessment Solution on Virtual Machine Powered by Collis. So you can see there's a button called Quick Fix. This is what I mentioned things have been simplified as much as possible. So being said that, when I click that, it will highlight all the virtual machines which I needed to uh, enable the Collis agent. So I, I can select all of them and then click Remediate. So when I do this part, uh, what will happen is, I'm going to give the consent uh, to go ahead and install the agent onto those virtual machines. So you have to make sure your particular user account has the rights in order to do that one onto the virtual machine. So as soon as the agent is installed, the agent will send the details to the college cloud and this particular vulnerability scanning will be keep on happening every four hours. 
which is not uh, configurable by your side it's hard coded one and one more thing you need to understand uh, these virtual machines need to send these details to the college cloud in order to do that one you need to make sure from your virtual machines they can reach out to these particular two public IP addresses uh, for the HTTPS traffic if not these virtual machines won't be able to send the details to the college cloud so being said that I'll go ahead and say remediate the 20 resources and this will take some time so once it's completed and then the initial scan run then I'll get back to you all and demonstrate how the findings or CVs we can find out and then how we can remediate those actions okay now I'm back after installing the uh, college agent to the virtual machines it took a little bit time and some of the virtual machines got failed as well uh, but being said that now to find out what are the recommendations you can come to the security center portal and under resource security hygiene click recommendations under that we can expand remediate vulnerabilities and then select the option called vulnerabilities in your virtual machine should be remediated powered by college so right now we have 12, 12 out of 12 virtual machines being detected so now it, it will show you what are the uh, findings and the vulnerabilities and how many uh, machines being affected out of that 70 so i'll take randomly example like let's say much of windows security update for june 2020 seems to be like three machines got affected and then it will be giving you in if i try to describe in detail way so it will tell you the impact general information threat the remediation and then the additional references and the affected computer so th this will give you an idea about wh what's exactly going on what kind of threat are facing on any anyway, from the college categorization wise this is security high so what you see is the high security high level and then when i keep on going on the list you will find some of them are going to go medium as well and one of them is also low so this is where actually college come to the picture and as i said every four hours this is keep on running back in on the virtual machine and try to find out the vulnerabilities and then highlight for you so this is additionally on an on addition to your uh, azure security center recommendations what you see under the computer and app and in the network and iot databases wise you can take this one it's as an additional uh, support service from microsoft combined with college so i really hope that this video really makes useful for you and understood one of the feature available inside the azure security center which is very useful if you have any questions please comment and i would be glad to help you out thank you